Hello, welcome everyone. Chris here. Going to run through another prepper challenge today. So we've had a, a few different types of canned foods, even had some mountain house free dries that we tested a couple weeks ago. Today we're gonna go with Tyson white chicken, uh, premium chunk in a can. It is the 12.5 uh, ounce can. This can expired or was best used by October 19, 2015. So it's it's almost five years old, so it's not too bad. Um, and this is like all the other all the other canned foods. I've been sitting in my crawl space for years. I've actually got quite a lot of this. I haven't tested just canned meat yet. I have done the Dinty Moore beef stew and that, that held up just fine. I've done a, several cans of fruit. So today we're gonna do white chicken and we're going to uh, check it for the usual smell, sight, and taste. See how it turns out. See if this is something that you'd want to eat, uh, let's say 10 years after the best use by date, even though today it's only five years. But uh, let's find out. This is the can here. So you can see it's a little dusty on top. Uh, let's, let's take a look at it. It's not bulging. It doesn't have any telltale signs that there's any spoilage. If we look on the bottom, let's check out the date, see if we can see that. Okay, used by October 19th, 2025. Uh, I'm guessing I must have bought this around 2011 or 2012. I don't recall precisely. Uh, but we're going to open it up, see what it looks like on the inside, and then we'll, uh, then we'll see what it tastes like. It says it's 98% fat free. All right, let's find this out. Okay, we'll run through the opening test. Oh, no, no real sound or whoosh of air. See, I can hear the seal break, but uh, okay. Let's take a look and see what it, see what kind of see what's going on on the inside. All right, that's what it looks like. Uh, can't tell any smell. Well, it smells, it does smell like canned chicken, which isn't the worst smell in the world. So we're going to uh, drain it and chop it up a little bit and uh, see how it tastes. Okay, so here we are with the canned chicken in the, in the bowl. Uh, you can see yeah, it's not really discolored. It's, it is canned chicken from a bowl, so it's going to have a particular color. I don't know if they preservatives in there to change the color. Let's see the, the consistency. A little flaky, not too flaky. It's not just falling apart. Um, you know, you could you could liven this up with some mayonnaise or if you had other condiments, you could turn it into a little bit of a salad. But, you know, this, this is primarily for some pretty s serious crisis that you'd bust this stuff out. Um, but you can see it breaks up okay. Um, no smells coming off of it. All right, let's take it for the final test and see how this tastes. Okay, so we've opened the can. We've observed the can. The can didn't appear to be uh, bulging or anything like that. There's no smells coming off of this. Uh, it is chunk canned tuna, or not tuna, chicken. Um, I did drain the the water out of it you might want to keep the water if you were in an emergency crisis situation and do something with it turn it into a soup i don't know but uh yeah let's take a let's take a bite my dog's sitting here just staring at me no sour no it tastes like chicken it, it's soft, it's tender. Um, yeah, mm, it's uh, delicious actually. I would say of all the foods that I've pulled out of the uh, storage supplies, this might might rank the highest so far as far as the taste and it's good. So I would probably liven this up in a chicken salads. So I'll probably turn this into a chicken salad later today. 
But this is Tyson, a white, white chicken can, best used by 2015. So we're coming up on five years past its best used by date. Uh, I have quite a lot of this, so I'll be testing it maybe in another two or three years. Let's see if it's changed much. But I would definitely use this in a pinch. Um, and I, yeah, I certainly don't, I don't see any problem using it from my stocks. I'm not advocating that you eat old expired food. I'm simply testing out the supplies that I have and see how they've held up. It is worth noting that all of this, all of my stored, all my food stores are in a dry place. The temperature is pretty even. It does not fluctuate greatly. Um, and it's dark, so we don't have sunlight down there. So it's a pretty good place to store food. Uh, so, you know, keep that into consideration. The storage location for your uh, supplies is important. You don't want it to be too hot, wet, uh, high variability in temperatures, all of that stuff will definitely can, can impact your food supplies. But this seems okay. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. Uh, as always, take care. You know, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.